Hi there. I'm not about to go all brave heart over ya, but you remember that scene at the very end of the movie where uh, the hero screams out, freedom! What a glorious word that is. But if you remember that scene, he, he was screaming the word freedom as he was being tortured to death. I want to read this quote today by Dan Fairley, who is a Bible scholar, a theologian, and a pastor. And this is what he said. Christ died to set us free from sin, death, fear, and shame in order to establish us in freedom so we can live and love as God's gracious children. Freedom is very personal but it is not self-centered. We have been given freedom so that we may present ourselves to the Lord as a willing sacrifice, surrendered and ready to serve. There was a song sung in the 80s or maybe it was the late 70s, uh, and the title was, He Could Have Sent 10,000 Angels. And it talks about the cross and that at any time, Jesus could have said to God the Father, okay, we're done, I'm out of here, this isn't going to work. Uh, because Jesus is and was and always will be part of the Trinity. Jesus. So often we think that Jesus was lesser than God. Jesus, if you read full of Philippians chapter 2, it says, Jesus, knowing fully who he was, chose to take on the role of a servant. He was free to do whatever he wanted to do, but he gave that freedom and submitted his heart to Father God to the point that he went to the cross. He gave up his freedom for us because he saw far into the future. He saw you and he saw me and he said, they're worth me giving up my freedom for. So today in this age where everybody is yelling, we need more freedom. We need more freedom of speech. We need to freedom to, ex to express ourselves, freedom to uh, do whatever we want to do, freedom to walk here, do that, drink this, uh, whatever not do this, not do that, but even that type of freedom, and I'm not going to go into that topic right, right now, but there's a big aspect of it. Christ gave us our freedom so we can use the freedom that he gave us not to only help ourselves and see ourselves pro progress and prosper, but no, so that we can lay down that freedom at times and give up our right to have our needs met, our comforts met, so that we can reach out and help others find that freedom. So today, if you're out and about your day, or if you're on the internet or whatever, and you're doing your own thing, and somebody contacts you, and you know it's going to take a while for you to be engaged with that person and you've got things you would rather do. Pause and think. For the joy set before him, Jesus gave up his freedom. And sometimes we have to pause our pursuit for freedom. Sometimes we have to lay that aside in order to model the one who we serve and who we say we want to follow. Remember, part of where Jesus will lead us is into places of personal sacrifice. And sometimes time these days is the biggest sacrifice we can offer, even though we fill our days with mindless stuff that doesn't really matter. If you're feeling inconvenienced, Shift your attitude and give that inconvenience to the Lord as a living sacrifice.